Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 31st question from CBC Class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for Mathematics Standard with subject code 041. Section C where each question is of 3 marks. Now this question is from the probability chapter. One card is drawn from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards. Find the probability of getting. The first one is a face card or a black card. Neither an ace nor a king, a jack and a black card. So let us solve these questions one by one. So let us start with the first one that is a face card or a black card. So you can see here that we are referring to a deck of cards. So there are four suits in the deck of cards that is clubs, diamonds, hearts and spades. And each suit is having 13 cards in it. That is starting from the ace. A represents the ace. Then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then comes the jack, the queen and the king. Jack, queen and king are called as the face cards. And there are total 26 black cards. That is 13 from the clubs and 13 from the spades. And there are total of 26 red cards. That is 13 from the diamonds and 13 from the hearts. So in this question, we have to find the probability of getting a face card or a black card. So you can see I have written here the probability of getting a face card or a black card is represented as probability of getting a face card plus whenever you see this word or it represents addition, addition of the probabilities. So probability of a face card plus probability of getting a black card minus probability of getting face cards which are black. I will come back to this part later on. Let me focus on this first part that is probability of getting a face card. Now as you can see in this picture, there are total of 12 face cards. So let me write here probability of getting a face card is, so it is 12 out of total 52 cards which are face cards plus probability of getting a black card. So as we saw, there are total of 26 black cards, that is 13 from clubs and 13 from spades. We are going to write here, there are total of 26 black cards out of 52 cards. Next, let us focus on this minus probability of face cards which are black. Now if you look at this, out of this total 12 face cards, 6 cards were black. So we have already considered it out of the black cards. So we need to remove it, otherwise it will be a repetitive addition of the cards. So we are going to write here, minus the 6 cards which are black, which we have already taken in the face cards, out of 52. It has been removed to avoid repetition. So here, since the denominators are same, we get a common denominator as 52. So we are going to just add up the numerators, that is 12 plus 26 is 38. And 38 minus 6 gives us 32. So the probability is 32 over 52. And we can see that we can still reduce it further. So 32 and 52 both can be divided by 4. So 4, 8 times is 32. And 4, 13 times is 52. So the final probability is 8 over 13. So the probability of getting a face card or a black card is 8 over 13. Let us move on to the second one. So the second one is getting neither an ace nor a king. So out of total 52 cards, we have to see that we are neither getting an ace nor a king. So for that, we are using a formula that is probability of either getting an ace or a king plus probability of neither that is not getting an ace nor a king is equal to 1. So this is a positive probability and this is a complementary of the positive probability. That is event happening and event not happening is equal to 1. So here since we are focusing on probability of an event not happening, we are going to take this probability on the other side of the equal to sign. So we get probability of neither getting an ace nor a king is equal to 1 minus probability of getting either an ace or a king. So this probability can be broken down into two probabilities. That is probability of getting an ace or. 
So as you remember, if this term comes, we have to add the probabilities. So 1 minus probability of getting an ace plus probability of getting a king. Now, let us find out what is probability of getting an ace. So as we know, there are total 4 aces in this deck of cards out of 52. And there are total 4 kings out of the total 52 cards. We are going to substitute here. So 1 minus 4 over 52 plus 4 over 52. Now the denominators are same. So we can add the numerators and we get over here 1 minus 4 plus 4 is 8 over 52. So let us take a common denominator that is taking the common LCM. This is multiplied by 52 and this is also multiplied by 52. So we are going to get here 1 times 52 is 52 in the numerator over 52 in the denominator minus 8 over 52. Next, since the denominators are same, we can subtract the numerators. So 52 minus 8 gives us 44. So 44 over 52 and 44 and 52 goes in the table of 4. So 4 11 times is 44 and 4 13 times is 52. So we get the probability over here as 11 over 13. Now let us move on to the last question. Now this is the last question. That is we have to find the probability of getting a jack and a black card. So the probability of getting a jack and a black card, the and represents a keyword here in probability, which means we have to get a probability of a jack times the probability of a black card. So if or is given, we have to add the probabilities and if and is given, we have to multiply the probabilities. So the probability of getting a jack is 4 out of 52 because there are total 4 cards out of 52 cards. So let me write here. 4 over 52 multiplied with probability of getting a black. There are total 26 cards out of 52. So let us write 26 out of 52. Now we can simplify this. That is 4 and 52 go in the table of 4. That is 4 1 times is 4 and 4 13 times is 52. Similarly 26 and 52 go in the table of 26. That is 26 1 times is 26 and 26 2 times is 52. So we are going to get here 1 times 1 in the numerator gives us 1 over 13 times 2 in the denominator gives us 26. So the probability of getting a jack and a black card is 1 over 26. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.